right, we're all ready to set this thing up. Gonna set it up. English scanning for networks. So I got my five gigahertz network. I'm not sure what the uh, signal's not that great from here. Network. Checking for updates. Successfully. Developer options. So I went to developer options and then you turn on ADB, debugging, and apps from unknown sources. And we're going to get the downloader. It's going to enter in the URL right here for uh, Eternal TV, which is APK. Eternal. So we click go and it's going to download. Yes. I really hate how Amazon information. All right. So obviously your password and login information in there, then you're ready to go. Um, this is the interface right here. Got your live TV from all over the world, all the sports. We got the video on demand, it's all separated into categories. So let's take a look at the thrillers. Alright, so let's go to um, the settings really quick. You can set up parental controls, okay to uh, limit access to certain sections. You got your player selection, the built-in player one. This is select your media player. So I just leave it at default. I have no clue what that other stuff is. There's no, we got EPJ or EPG channel preference. Um, I like to set to show all channels. That way you're not missing out on anything. Now auto update channels and video on demand daily. I put it on enable, um, but if you put it on disable, what you have to do is go to the top, very top, and go to the three dots over here, and you'd have to manually refresh the channels. So we're gonna go to eternaltv.net here. So yeah, they have different plans depending on the connection. So right now I have three, I have the three connection one. So you go to order now and then you can choose your billing cycle. So if you're only comfortable with paying monthly and you can do that $8 a month. If you want to do it quarterly, you'll save about $4 and pay $20 a month every three months. So if you're paying monthly, it's 96 a year. If you're playing quarterly, that's going to be about what, $80 a year. So you save $10 across the year. But uh, I also recommend you get a pretty decent internet speed. Right now I'm at 250 megabits per second. So let's do a speed test right now. Let's see what kind of speed we're getting. So yeah, I'm getting and about 250 260 megabits per second almost oh 270 278 280 well wow, that's pretty good okay, appreciate everything appreciate your um subscriptions your likes and all that my channel has been progressing pretty well um 
I got 4,279 views and 71 subscribers. And I appreciate the love. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. This is a piece of Jesse.